Hello guys, I'm Reagan and today we will do a comparo against the 5-seater Ford Territory Titanium and the 7-seater Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX. Now both of these crossovers are similarly priced so it would be interesting to see how they match up. Now you might be wondering why I'm doing a comparo between a 5-seater crossover and a 7-seater crossover. Well, because we can baby. Let's do this. The 1.3 million Philippine peso mark is becoming an interesting price segment in the local car industry since more and more car companies are starting to recognize that it's practically the sweet spot when it comes to most car buyers. It's priced low enough such that it will attract a lot more potential car buyers but not that low that they'll have to strip down their offerings to the bare bones. In fact, the two crossovers that we have here are two of the most fully loaded crossovers that are in the 1.3 million peso mark. We have here the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX, the current flagship crossover that came out from Cherry Auto Philippines. And over here we have the Ford Territory Titanium, the newest crossover in Ford Stable. In this comparo, we will check out the metrics that matter most to people. First, we'll take a look at the cost of ownership category to see how both crossovers will impact your finances. Next, we'll go to exterior looks to see how they appeal to most people. From there, we head inside to look at the interior materials and build quality, after which we square both of them off in the tech toys department. Then, since both of these are crossovers, we'll also check out the backseat space and the trunk capacity in the practicality and usable space category. Category. After that, we take both crossovers out for a drive in that driving performance and fuel economy category. And then at the end of this video, we'll have a verdict to see which crossover is the best one for you. Now, before we begin this compare, I'd like to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel. And if you're a subscriber already, I'd like to thank you for your time and support by watching this video. Anyway, guys, let's begin. The Ford Territory Titanium is competitively priced at 1,299,000 Philippine pesos which came as a big surprise to everybody considering the amount of uh, comfort amenities and tech features that you get in this car. However, the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX will not be outdone because this top spec crossover right here costs only 1,340,000 Philippine pesos. That's a paltry 40,000 peso price difference between the two crossovers. But let's not forget that Cherry Auto Philippines throws in a free three year preventive maintenance service package for all of its uh, Cherry Tigo models. So, given that kind of support from the distributor in Cherry Auto Philippines, well, the price difference between the two has practically been negated. So given the fact that both of them are practically the same price and in terms of cost of ownership, well, I'll have to give both of them a tie in the cost of ownership category. The territory has design cues that are pretty similar to a certain British crossover. It's a beautifully executed design though, from the semi-floating roof here to the gorgeous rear end. It does get a little bit too much chrome though, a feature that I'm not really too fond of. And that rear end, well, while it's gorgeous, it could appear a little bit too busy for some people. Plus the fact that it has faux twin exhaust pipes, well, it doesn't really help its cost at all. It's still a gorgeous design though, but you get that feeling that it's a little bit over the top. Now the Cherry Tigo 8 takes credit for a uniquely designed front fascia, one that is penned by the renowned creative designer Kevin Rice. It truly sports a unique look and you could not accuse it 
of trying to copy another car brand. Now the irony there is Cherry Auto has a technical partnership with Jaguar Land Rover so you'd expect that the Tiggo 8 would look like a Range Rover but no, the Tiggo 8 avoided all that and came out with its own unique look. Now the rear end of this Tiggo 8 sports a European flair and design, one that is similarly akin to a German brand. It also has a couple of chrome garnishes at the rear bumper that looks like tailpipes, but to the Cherry Tiggo 8's credit, it's, it doesn't really look like tailpipes, but more like an actual chrome garnish. Now while both crossovers are beautifully designed, I'll have to give the edge to the Cherry Tiggo 8 for having such a unique look that did not follow the design trend that the Range Rover Evoque has started. The Tiggo 8's interior is plush and is similar to the territories when it comes to the materials used. The seats may be finished in faux leather, but the quality of this faux leather is soft enough that it may even pass off as real leather. What I find amusing though is the AC vent knobs that they used in the Tiggo 8. It looks eerily similar to the ones found in the Ford territories. Most likely they probably got it from the same supplier anyway. However, the Tiggo 8's touchscreen uh, climate control system here is finished in a glossy piano black finish which will be a huge scratch magnet in the future. Overall though, it's still really a nice cabin to spend time in and you guys would not feel short change at all in the cabin of the Cherry Tiggo 8 Lux EX. The Territories cabin is plush with real leather seats and you got your leather wrapped steering wheel, leather inserts on your door panels and even a leather metal dashboard here. You also get a panoramic sunroof similar to the ones found in the Cherry Tiggo 8 and your AC vent controls are of the same design except this one is sporting a more chrome finish than the matte aluminum finish that can be found in the AC vent knobs of the Cherry Tiggo 8. Now kudos to uh, the Ford Territory for trying to keep the piano black finishes to a minimum. This should keep the interior looking fresh as time goes by. And uh, the switch gear may not be as premium feeling as the ones that are found in the Cherry Tiggo 8, but the mere fact that the, the Territory uses real leather and it has that ventilated feature and heating feature as well, means that the Ford Territory wins in the cabin materials and build quality department by a slim margin over that of the Cherry Tiggo 8 Lux EX. The Cherry Tiggo 8 Lux EX has a good amount of tech features to wow a good number of people. Your instrument gauges here is fully digital and you also have a 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment system display that's a little bit larger than the ones found in the Ford Territory. It also has a 360 degree view camera but it's a little bit basic when you compare it to the ones found in the Territory which has that nifty little 3D camera feature. This Tiggo 8 also doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but whatever shortcomings that this baby has when it comes to tech, it more than makes up for it because it has this. This, my dear friends, is Cherry Tiggo 8 Lux EX smartwatch key, the only one of its kind that I've seen in any of the cars that I've reviewed. This baby can remote start your engine, remote, well, of course, open and close your doors, open your lift gate, and it can even open and close all of your windows. Plus, it will tell you your health stats and it could keep track of your steps and it could also tell you the time. So this nifty little thing gives it a few brownie points when it comes to the tech features department. Now let's head over to the Ford Territory to see what kind of tech features that baby can offer us. The Ford Territory has all the tech features that can be found in the Cherry Tiggo 8 Lux EX except for that smartwatch key. However, the Territory makes a huge comeback with its wireless Apple CarPlay system, wired Android Auto, a wireless uh, phone charging uh, kit here, and you also have a niftier looking 360 degree view camera with 3D mode. Now the fact that the Ford Territory also comes with the Ford's legendary safety suite of features through uh, Ford's uh, Copilot 360, which is actually uh, 
a package of safety systems including adaptive cruise control, you have blind spot monitoring, you have emergency braking, and you even have active park assist for those dicey parallel and perpendicular parking maneuvers. So the mere fact that the Ford Territory has a more safety and more tech features, then it wins in the tech category versus the Tigo 8 Lux EX. <laughs> The territory has a spacious back seat, but its seating capacity is limited to only five. It is a five-seater after all, so you have that kind of limit there. Granted, you do get a lot of space here, but yeah, you can only ferry as much as five passengers at a time. You do get a couple of rear AC vents here and a solo USB port for charging duties as well. However, when we check out the trunk, You only get 420 liters of trunk capacity which can only accommodate one large suitcase and probably a couple of small bags and not much else. This is pretty small for a compact crossover in terms of trunk capacity which means that you'll be tumbling down the back seats a lot more when you're driving the Ford Territory. The Tiggo 8 has a clear advantage when it comes to space being a 7-seater after all. This is better suited for those with families or people who have a lot of friends who don't really own any cars. You've got a really spacious uh, second row here and it could even be adjusted forward to give the people in the third row some leg room. You also have a couple of rear AC vents here and a solo USB port for charging duties. The trunk capacity is larger as well. With the third row folded, you get 890 liters of trunk capacity, which is more than double than the one that you can find in the Ford Territory. You also get a smart automatic power lift gate here. So the mere fact that you have a bigger trunk capacity for the Tigo 8, as well as a more spacious back seat, the winner in the space category is the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX. <laughs> Now let's take the Ford Territory out for a drive to see how it fares in the driving performance department. The Ford Territory has the same engine displacement and type of engine as the one found in the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX, which is a 1.5 liter turbo petrol engine. However, this baby does 140 horses and 225 Newton meters of torque, and it's mated to a CVT transmission. Now, while its CVT transmission is tuned much better than most CVTs, it still suffers from a little bit of that CVT lag, especially when you're trying to accelerate. There's a decent amount of power in the low end though, which is a good thing. It won't leave you hanging, especially when you're going through mountainous roads, like what I'm going through now. Yes, but uh, in terms of uh, steering feel though, that's one of my pet peeves about this Ford Territory. The steering feel is so light that there's practically no feedback at all coming from this vehicle. Handling is also on the soft side though. It's uh, pretty similar to the larger Fords out there like the Ford Explorer and the Ford Expedition which means that the uh, suspension of the Ford Territory is tuned more towards uh, comfort rather than performance. Now let's uh, switch cars and drive the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX to see what kind of performance it can give us in the driving performance segment. The Tigo 8 has a wee bit more horsepower at 145 horses, but it's down on torque with only 210 newton meters of torque versus the 225 newton meters that's found in the Ford Territory. However, you won't really feel that torque drop because this baby sports a six-speed dry dual clutch transmission. That means that this has lightning fast uh, shifts, especially when you're at a uh, highway speed. However, you would get a little bit of jerkiness when you're at slow parking lot speeds like what we're going through now. When it comes to fuel economy, it's uh, pretty similar to the one found in the Ford Territory at 8 to 10 kilometers per liter in the city and 14 to 15 kilometers per liter in the highway. Now what I like about the Tigo 8 though is the steering response is sharper and it has a little bit more heft to it when you compare it to the Ford Territory. 
handling response is also more uh, dialed in and it feels a lot sportier than the comfort uh, bias for territory. So the mere fact that, well, the Cherry Tigo 8 has a better steering feel and a quicker transmission response, well, I'll have to give the win in the drive performance category to the Cherry Tigo 8 Lux EX. In the end, both of these crossovers have their own merits that it's practically a tie in this Comparo. They have almost no difference at all, which means that whichever crossover you choose, well, you've got a winner in your hands. The five-seater Ford Territory Titanium we have here is the perfect uh, car for small families and those people who don't really carry too much stuff, but they want that luxury premium appointments in their cabin and the tech features as well. This car spells comfort in every drive that you do. Now, the Cherry Tigo 8 that we have here is for people who need the flexibility of seven seats and a larger trunk space and also has that kind of driving performance that you'd expect from a vehicle with a dual clutch transmission. This Cherry Tigo 8 also has that compelling three-year free PMS package that Cherry Auto Philippines offers, which makes this a highly compelling vehicle for its price point. Once again, guys, thank you for watching one of my car comparos. If you love this comparo, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. I promise you guys, I'll make it worth your while by subscribing to Reagan's Rides. I'll keep making more videos like these for you. Anyway, I'm Reagan, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. British crossover from... Uh-huh. Naku, yan na naman. Umaaraw na naman. <laughs> would also value a great drive, a great performance in their crossover. So in the end, guys, well, you really have a winner in both of these crossovers. Bakit dumaan ang cloud? <laughs> Dumilim!